This is Bo Bichette, and this is Stacked. Bo Bichette hits one deep into the bullpen, his second home run of the game. Bo, welcome to Stacked. Thank you for having me, glad to be here. How do you feel like as you approach Stacked right now? Um, I'm a little nervous. I don't have much experience with this, so uh, you know we'll do our best. What was it like growing up in a family full of baseball players? Um, not much different. Um, I got a head start, I think, in terms of knowing the game a little bit more, but um, pretty much the same thing. Did you get to spend a lot of time around the big league clubhouses growing up? Any favorite? Say my dad went back to coach when I was 14, and um, Vinny Castillo was in there. Um, he was still coaching, and I love him. Tulo, Arenado, I met all those guys when I was young, so they all had a huge impact on my game. You and two of your teammates are sons of former MLB players. Was that an automatic connection? Have you guys built upon that? Talk about that relationship. Yeah, I think it was definitely an automatic connection. I mean, uh, from the get-go, we knew we had a lot of things in common. Um, but, you know, for me, I think we, we've all kind of grown our relationship a little bit more over the past couple of years, getting to know each other and being around each other for five years now. So um, definitely all close friends now. Tell us about your friendship with Vlad Jr. And Vladdy. tell us about him. Yeah, Vladdy's just a, he's a kid having fun playing in the big leagues, really. Um, I think that's really powerful to have somebody around that is just always having fun, always having things in perspective. Um, me and him have a good relationship, um, a good working relationship as well, so it's been fun to be around him. You were Gatorade Player of the Year in high school. We heard you did some pitching. I did. Tell us about your time on the mound. I love pitching. Um, it was one of my... You of got my it. Come on, boom. Yeah, I love pitching, love getting on the mound and just competing against hitters, but uh, that time's gone now. What was it like competing in the show Players League tournament last year? Uh, it was fun. It was uh, competitive, a lot of adrenaline going on. Let's go, dude! Um, but probably a little bit more pressure than I wanted. So uh, really, like, would you do it again? I would consider. I would consider. Okay. Uh, you were born in the U.S. and you play for a Canadian team, but you also played for Team Brazil in the WBC in 2016. What was that experience like? That was great. Um, being around those guys, whew, being around those guys, um, learning more about them, being there to help them, you know, kind of grow baseball in Brazil. Yeah. Um, you know, that's a passion of mine is to grow the game. So to be around them was really fun and uh, I look forward to doing it again. Like what's the secret to the bow flow? Like your hair is just a vibe. So take us through that process. There's no secret. I don't really do anything abnormal to it. I just, so you're just blessed? I wake up and I shower and I come to the field. That's it? You don't put anything in your hair? No product? No. Nope. Are you going to go uh, put your hair back in braids anytime soon or no? Because that was a look. Yeah, I might. I might. Um, we'll see. But I would like to bring them out in a game at some point. Oh, yeah. Uh, you were brought up playing tennis and you wanted to go pro. So what made you pick baseball? Um, I didn't want to go pro. Um, okay. My dad wanted me to go pro. Okay. Yeah, so... I think I chose baseball because I didn't necessarily love practicing tennis. Um, There's a lot of running more than I wanted to. <laughs> so I decided, no, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I decided I'd rather take ground balls and, and uh, hit instead of just being at the court for four hours and running the whole time. Right. So. Do you use it as a form of conditioning still? I do, yeah. I feel and like that would be fun. In the off seasons I play, it helps me with my defense, my footwork and yeah. stuff like that. Who's your favorite current tennis player? Are you still like pretty tuned in with tennis? Oh, I love tennis. Okay. I watch every chance I get. Um, Nadal, for sure. Okay. He's the guy that I, uh, probably my favorite athlete, so. Got it. Do you believe in aliens? No. Not at all. Like you said that so quickly. No. You don't believe that there's something else out there? I mean, there might be like, I feel like there might be like little critters on different planets. Critters? But <laughs> so critters, aliens, I don't think there's of... any like intelligent life. Top three music artists of all time. You personally. Me personally. You personally. Mm -hmm. Justin Bieber, Drake, Chris Brown. Good luck. Oh. <sighs> we got a challenge vlog, y'all. All right, let's see what your next challenge is. Show us your best drawing of a Blue Jay. So we've actually got a board for you. Oh no. He's peeking. Don't peek at the logo. <laughs> 
good start. That's your beak? You're totally cheating. How about like blocking the logo? I mean. Is that your, that's pretty good, dude. Why don't you show the people? Let's, let's go right into that camera and show the people. This is my best right here. Guys, sign them up. <laughs> Boba Bichette art classes starting soon. Yeah. All right, who's a player we might not know about, but is going to be a star? I mean, we have a great, a lot of really talented players here. Um, the way that Gabby Moreno, he's one of our catchers, the way he swings it, um, people are going to love his stance and his way he swings. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of guys in here. For sure, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Close. It almost I thought did. It might work. I know. Yeah, I'm for gonna... a second. How many moves do you think you made? Ooh. Twenty. Ooh, I think more. More than that. Thirty-one. Okay. Thirty-one. That's pretty good. Oh, that's, On our that stuff board, that is pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Before you head out, we're gonna have you autograph one of these bad boys. And while you are signing, I want you to think of somebody that you can call out and challenge them to come on stack and beat your score of thirty-one. Kevin Biggio, I challenge you to beat my high score in stack. Bo, thanks so much for coming on the show. We had a great time. Thank you for having me. Very impressed with your performance. <laughs> Those of you guys watching, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time here on Stacked.